T minus 50 seconds and counting. Coming up on T minus 31 seconds and a go for auto sequence start. Have a ground launch sequence or go for auto sequence start. Columbia's general purpose computers now have primary control of critical vehicle functions. T minus 20 seconds. Everything is go. The orbiters on board computers have armed the SRB ignition hold down post and T0 umbilical. T minus 12 seconds. T minus 10. Go for engine start. T minus 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition, we have liftoff, liftoff of Columbia in mission 61C, and the shuttle has cleared the tower. Houston controlling now. Uh, Roger, roll, Columbia. The crew in the ground acknowledging the roll program with a good roll, 73 degrees, puts the ship on the proper attitude for the flight downrange with wings level and astronauts heads down. Uh, standing by now to throttle down, all three main engines running smoothly at 104% of rated thrust.
I think right now down to uh, 29, 20 feet per second. Uh, now on video. Touchdown uh, at uh, mission elapsed time, six days, two hours, four minutes, nine seconds. Uh, speed at uh, touchdown, uh, roughly 195 knots. systems uh, look very good. The entire approach and landing process was uh, very nominal right along the programmed flight path uh, through virtually uh, every instant of the approach. Houston, Columbia, we got wheel stop. Welcome back to Earth, you seasoned space veterans. We're working on your Delta. Roger that, Houston, seasoned by an extra two days. Uh, mission lapse time to touchdown once again is uh, unofficially six days, two hours, four minutes. Houston. Post landing per procedures, no deltas. Copy that, Fred. Uh, repeating on official mission lapse time again, six days, two hours, four minutes, nine seconds. And the uh, sense of relief here among the uh, entry control team is probably very similar to what uh, was experienced in the launch control center uh, six days ago when uh, Columbia was launched after uh, uh, four uh, successive delays.